I'm going to show you how you can create your own booking appointment for external users to book appointments that will automatically get added to your Outlook calendar. And we're going to use a tool called Calendly. Now, Calendly has been reviewed by McEwen's Privacy and Security Department and has approved it, so you are fine to make use of that. Basically, what happens is when you, you'll have a link and when the user clicks on the link, they will be able to pick a date and a time to book an appointment. In this case, I've got set up for a 30 minute appointment. When they go in to fill out the information, one of the nice things I like about this is it does allow them to choose how to, they want to come and meet with you, whether it's in person, or whether it's using Microsoft Teams or a phone call and then any details that they want. And all that information gets centered into your calendar as well as your uh, user's uh, calendar or visitor's calendar. So to get started, you just go to calendly.com. Down at the bottom, you're gonna enter in your McEwen email. When you do that, it's gonna automatically recognize that this is an Office 365 email and say, hey, do you wanna sign up and connect your calendar with Office 365? And the answer, of course, is yes. As well as making sure that anytime you create these calendars, you can also have the ability to add a video call link automatically using Microsoft Teams. So when you first create a new account, you automatically get enrolled in the full version. Now the full version is a paid version. This is a paid service. However, for the free service, you will be able to choose and create one calendar. So by default, the calendar that they give you is this one called 30 minute meeting. And so you will be able to take that, modify it, do whatever you want. I've created a couple other ones just to demonstrate, but I mean, I can create a number of them, but I can only use one at a time with the free service. So that's important to remember. When you first start up uh, the book, sorry, when you first start up your dashboard here, you'll have a information here and it'll ask you to go through and create a new uh, calendar event or type, which you can go ahead and do and play around with that. Um, I would personally just work with this here. I would just kind of skip that and then just work with the one that's in here. So let's kind of go through the first step. As part of the process, you would have indicated what your availability is and you can go up into your availability and there's one's called working hours. And when I set this up, there is all the different hours. Uh, I'm not currently working on Wednesdays, so I take those off and then everything else is as is. There might be some other times though during the year that maybe this schedule doesn't work for me. Okay, in which case I can switch and have a different schedule. So there I can create a new schedule. So I've created one called teaching hours. Notice that I'm only available on Mondays through these hours. Tuesday, very limited, one hour. Wednesdays in these hours. Thursdays limited again and Friday these hours. So you can have different schedules depending on the time of year or depending on what you want to do with that calendar. Again, keep in mind, you can only have one calendar at a time. You can only use one of these schedules at a time, but you can switch them. So during different times of the year, you can pop back and forth. So let's go into the very first one that we get, this 30 minute. And I'm gonna go into the settings here. I'm gonna go in edit. Now, there it says view live page. I'm just gonna go back one step here for a second. At the top here, there's my page for this, uh, my Calendly interface. And notice here, I've got three of them. So right now I'm actually still on the trial system for two weeks. And so everything's gonna show up. So when I go to my page, I can see all three of these different services and then I click into the one I want. But if I'm only gonna have one, I wanna be able to go right to this one here. I mean, it makes sense just to jump to that. And you can do that by using the link that is available on this page here. View live page is basically going right to that page. So this is the link that I use in my signature, in my email and that kind of stuff. Basically, let's go through the steps. I'll just quickly go through, there's lots of documentation, but um, choose the title of it because that's going to be part of what gets saved to your calendar. The location is the fun part. Here's where you can choose to add all these different things. Now, keep in mind, we are already set up with McEwen, so that's going to be part of Microsoft Teams. You can add Zoom and Google Meet, and that's up here under integrations. You have to approve those. However, you only get one of these during the free uh, trial again or during your free piece. So you're using Outlook, you might as well stick with Teams. You can kind of fudge things a bit. Um, one of the choices down here is called custom. And in custom, uh, and I'll show, maybe I'll show this later, but what I do is I'll just say Google Meet 
And if someone chooses that, I can manually add a Google Meet link to that event after the fact. Otherwise, these other choices that we have are, can be automatic. So I'm just going to say, you know what, I'm going to do an in-person. So we'll do uh, 10700, 104th Avenue. Uh, and I can, in here, <coughs> excuse me, I can add in another piece of information like McEwen University, park wherever you want. So I'll add that in there. So that's one choice. I'm going to add one video choice. So I'll add my Microsoft Teams, which is already connected. I'm also going to add phone number or a phone call. And so whether they call me or I call them, so I'm going to choose I call them. I'll update that and we'll come. We'll go through this when we're done here. Then any instructions. Typically, I say something like video calls will be done using Microsoft Teams. You do not need a account uh, when you click on the link. Just open it up in the browser. Something easy. Now, notice here, calendly.com slash test staff slash 30 minutes. That's the URL for this piece right here and you can uh, up here so you can go in and and modify that to whatever you want and then that'll be the long link that you get to use i'm just going to save that real quick because that's the the first section the rest of it's pretty straightforward how far in advance do you want what's your duration there which schedule to use and this is what i said before i could go in and i could switch schedules for this event whoops I hit the wrong button let's get back into here um, any extra questions that you want to ask? So right now we have name, email, um, anything you want to share. Uh, sometimes I actually will put in what's your phone number in case there's technical problems. So, you know, if they're trying to use Teams and it doesn't work, then uh, that way I have their phone number. Workflows is an advanced function, so I'm not even going to bother uh, uh, showing you. Plus, it's part of the paid package. Notifications, again, this, uh, even though right now I can modify it, as soon as the trial uh, is over and I'm on the free version, I can't modify it, so I won't be able to personalize it. So I'm just gonna leave that information there. Same thing with the confirmation, and of course, collect payments is obviously gonna be something um, that we don't do through McEwen anyways. All right, so let's take a look at this live page here. So I'm gonna open uh, up, and I'm just a quick, quick refresh to make sure. So I'm going to pick tomorrow's date. There's all the free times because, again, it's looking in my calendar, taking a look at what's available. I got a nine o'clock, so I'll do that. I'll put in jazz here, as we usually do. Jazz the poodle. And there's my choices. Now, remember, phone number call, I have to put in the phone number that, that uh, as, a, as a visitor, that, that Trevor's going to be calling. So there's where they would put that information in. Here, I'll just throw in a Teams link, and that will be added into the calendar automatically. Go ahead, schedule the event. Whoops, have to put in some. What are we going to meet about? That's important. And there's the information. That information is sent to me by email as the, the, the person filling it out. It's also been added automatically into my calendar. So let's take a quick look here in Outlook. There's, there's the appointment there. So I'll go in. There's all the details. Uh, let's just open this up so we can see more of the details. So there's the, uh, there's the link to join the meeting. There's all the details that they've put in. And it's important to look at this cancel and reschedule. So this is what's sent to the, the, uh, the, the user as well as yourself. So if I need to cancel this appointment, I'm not just going to delete it from my calendar, okay? Because the appointment's done in Calendly. So it's important I go to here into Calendly. It'll take me back to here. And that's where I am going to uh, cancel it, okay? And I'm just going to leave that there for a second. So remember we were talking about our, um, um, yes, thank you, our dashboard here. Scheduled events means exactly what it means. What do you have coming up? And there's that event of jazz, and I can get more details there. And those, the link to this information is in the calendar, as we saw earlier. Anything that's uh, past due, I can take a look if I have any past ones. And then, of course, if it's, you know, been using this for a few years, I can just select a date range. That's pretty much it. Anything else, just go under the help and go to the help center or ask a question and you'll find the answers there.